Hello, fabulous friends and fans. Welcome to another episode of Nadia Shaw Productions, a spontaneous gorilla episode. And we are celebrating Mark Wolves from New York City. He's a speaker here at UAC at the big conference. And what's amazing about Mark and what he does is that he has a way of blending yoga and astrology and bringing together body, mind, and spirit. And I've heard it said that you want to get to a place where you are living yoga. Like I've heard that phrase, live yoga. And I think about uh, with the planets, you want to get to a place where you are in harmony. You're not fighting the planets. You're accepting your talents. You're working with them to bring out your maximum potential. So how does actually the practice of yoga help people to live yoga and blend that astrological blessings? Well, in yoga, you find that the, the habits that you have physically which show up in the way that you do the physical practice uh, and also your attitude toward them, that is also in the whole rest of your day. Where, where you have excess aggression in your physical practice, that's going to show up in the way you treat other people and also the way they treat you. And so you become conscious and aware of those habits, both physically in your practice and also through your day and you begin to work with it and change it. And you do the same thing with the chart. If you have a square between a couple of planets in your chart that just sets you off and fills you with tension and puts you into challenging situations, your job as a person is to understand that that's a tendency, but you have choices. And how am I going to handle this? And can this tension be something that moves me forward and helps me to learn something about interacting with the world? Or am I just going to blame it on everybody else? <laughs> it's amazing because um, yoga and astrology is ultimately about consciousness. Yes. And consciousness gives us choice to decide who we want to be in the world. So tell us about an event because you are responsible for a very popular event in New York City. Tell us about that. Yes, Access Astrology. Uh, Ann Ortley and Heather Roan Robbins and I uh, got together, we were saying about seven, eight years ago, and uh, we have talks. We really enjoy sort of bouncing off each other, and we take up different topics and interact with the audience. But Anne and I are in person in New York City at the Open Center every Tuesday, and it's really fun. We get people together, and I'd love to see this happen in every city and every town where just people get together once a week and take up a topic and interact and share what you know. So the next time I'm in New York City, can I come? Yes, we'd love to have you. What a great website name. I love it. DharmaRising.com. Thank you so much for being here to celebrate Mark Holtz with me. Until we connect again, take care.